today I'm Juan, and I'm Ashley Denise Ejoliano from Green 4. Join me and let's have fun in learning fractions. What is fraction? Fractions are numbers that aren't whole. A fraction or a part of something bigger. Fractions have two numbers. A numerator which means the part and the denominator which is the whole. What should we learn about fractions? Hmm. There are several ways we use fractions. And mainly while performing our day-to-day -day activities. It is fair to say that the world would not be without fraction as we see it today. Fractions surround our everyday activities. And here are some examples of fraction in real life. First is standing time. Half an hour is a common way of expressing 30 minutes. Second is eating pizza. Dividing pizza slices equally among people requires fraction. Third is cooking. Following a recipe sometimes suggests using one half teaspoon of sugar, three four tablespoon of salt. Fractions are used to adjust the ingredients accordingly. Fourth is medical prescription. The doctor prescribes different dosages for people of different sizes based on fractions. And my last example is tests and exams. Scores of tests and exams are generally expressed as fractions. We have three kinds of fraction: The proper fraction, the improper fraction, and a mixed number. Proper fraction is less than one whole. The numerator is smaller than the denominator. And here are the examples of proper fractions. One half, two fourths, and three tenths. Improper fraction are equal to or greater than one whole. The numerator are equal to or bigger than the denominator. Here are the examples of improper fractions. 5 halves, 8 six, and 12 tenths. 2 halves, 3 thirds, and 4 fourths are also called improper fractions because the numerator is equal to its denominator and the fraction is equal to 1. A mixed number is a whole number and a fraction written together. Here are the examples of mixed number. 1 and 2 ten. 2 and 3 ten. 3 and 4 ten. An improper fraction may be renamed as a mixed number or a whole number. Divide the numerator by the denominator. Write the remainder as the numerator of the fraction part. The application of fraction in everyday life are endless. Hope you had fun today. Thank you. God bless. Bye!